Welcome to Mars Saga, your gateway to the Red Planet. Subscribe now and join the journey. Mars Saga, Episode, The Lost Shield of Mars. Mars Saga continues with one of the most important mysteries of the Red Planet, how Mars lost its atmosphere and why it became a cold, dry world. This episode focuses on the invisible forces that changed Mars forever. Billions of years ago, Mars looked very different from the planet we see today. It had rivers, lakes, possibly oceans, and a thicker atmosphere that allowed liquid water to exist on the surface. But over time, Mars lost most of its air and with it, its ability to support surface water. To understand this transformation, scientists study Mars's magnetic field, atmosphere, and interaction with the Sun. Early in its history, Mars had a global magnetic field similar to Earth's. This magnetic field acted like a protective shield. It deflected charged particles coming from the Sun, known as solar wind. As long as this shield existed, Mars's atmosphere remained relatively stable. The magnetic field was generated by molten iron moving inside Mars's core. This movement created electrical currents, which produced a magnetic field surrounding the planet. However, Mars is smaller than Earth. Because of its size, Mars cooled much faster. As the planet cooled, its core slowly solidified. When the core stopped moving, the magnetic field weakened and eventually disappeared. Without a strong magnetic field, Mars was exposed directly to the solar wind. The Sun constantly releases streams of charged particles at high speed. On Earth, most of these particles are deflected by the magnetic field and guided toward the poles, creating auroras. On Mars, there was no such protection. Solar wind began striking Mars's upper atmosphere directly. Over millions of years, this process stripped away gases molecule by molecule. Carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and other gases escaped into space. As the atmosphere thinned, surface pressure dropped. Liquid water became unstable and either froze or evaporated. Some water vapor was broken apart by sunlight into hydrogen and oxygen. The lighter hydrogen escaped easily into space, while oxygen reacted with surface rocks, contributing to Mars's red color. NASA missions have directly measured atmospheric loss. Spacecraft observed charged particles being pulled away from Mars by the solar wind, confirming that this process is still happening today. Mars's atmosphere today is extremely thin. It is less than 1% the density of Earth's atmosphere. This thin layer cannot trap heat effectively, leading to extreme temperature differences. During the day, temperatures can rise near the equator, but at night, heat escapes quickly, causing sharp drops. With little atmospheric protection, Mars is also exposed to radiation. Cosmic rays and solar radiation reach the surface, making it dangerous for life as we know it. Ancient Mars likely had a thicker atmosphere rich in carbon dioxide. This gas created a greenhouse effect, keeping the planet warm enough for liquid water. As the atmosphere thinned, the greenhouse effect weakened. The planet cooled and water froze into ice or moved underground. Mars also lost atmospheric pressure. Low pressure causes water to boil at much lower temperatures. Even when temperatures were high enough, liquid water could not remain stable. This combination of cooling and pressure loss marked the end of long-lasting surface water on Mars. Despite losing its global magnetic field, Mars still has small localized magnetic regions. These are remnants locked into ancient rocks in the crust. These magnetic patches suggest that the magnetic field shut down unevenly. Some areas preserved magnetic signatures, while others lost them completely. These regions provide clues about the timeline of Mars's magnetic collapse. 
volcanic activity also played a role in Mars's atmospheric evolution. Massive volcanoes released gases into the atmosphere, temporarily replenishing it. However, volcanic activity declined over time. Without continuous gas release, atmospheric loss outpaced replenishment. Large impacts from asteroids may have stripped away additional atmosphere. Powerful collisions can eject gas into space, especially on a planet with weak gravity. Mars's lower gravity made it harder to hold on to light gases. Over time, even heavier gases escaped. The loss of atmosphere changed Mars's surface chemistry. Without water and air, chemical reactions slowed. Weathering processes nearly stopped. Dust became the dominant force shaping the surface. Winds moved fine particles across the planet, covering older features. Dust storms became common. Some storms grow large enough to cover the entire planet and last for months. Despite these harsh conditions, Mars still shows seasonal changes. Carbon dioxide freezes at the poles during winter and sublimates in summer, driving strong winds. Thin clouds form from water ice and carbon dioxide ice, creating faint patterns in the sky. Mars's atmosphere continues to evolve, even today. It expands and contracts with the seasons, responding to temperature changes. Understanding Mars's atmospheric loss helps scientists learn why Earth remained habitable while Mars did not. Earth's larger size allowed it to retain internal heat longer. Its molten core continues to generate a magnetic field, protecting the atmosphere. Earth's stronger gravity also helps hold on to gases. Mars shows what can happen when a planet loses its internal engine. The story of Mars is a warning and a lesson. Planetary habitability depends on more than distance from the Sun. Internal structure, magnetic fields, and long-term stability matter deeply. Mars may have been habitable for hundreds of millions of years, that may have been enough time for life to begin. If life ever appeared on Mars, it faced increasing challenges as conditions worsened. Some life forms on Earth survive in extreme radiation, cold, and dryness. Similar organisms could have survived underground on Mars. Subsurface environments remain one of the most promising places to search for past or present life. Future missions aim to drill deeper, analyze ancient rocks, and search for chemical signs of biology. Mars Saga continues to uncover how a once protected planet became exposed and silent. The loss of Mars's magnetic shield marked the beginning of the end for its surface habitability. Yet the planet still holds its history in stone, dust, and ice. Mars is not just a dead world, it is a record of planetary evolution. By studying Mars, humanity learns how rare and fragile habitable worlds may be. The Red Planet continues to teach lessons written over billions of years. Thanks for watching. You were watching Mars Saga.